One of the most often asked questions I get here on the Video Gadgets Journal is how to live stream directly from an iOS device to YouTube and how to do it for free. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, how exactly pointless this truly is. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And if you're new here, my mission is to help you share your iOS screen, whether it be iPhone or iPad, to the YouTube world. And in this particular video, I'm going to look at live streaming. Now the application you want for this tool is gonna to be, on this occasion, Omelet Arcade but you can't download it from the App Store because this doesn't allow you to stream any game you want or your entire iOS screen. It's only on certain games. So I'm gonna direct you to this website here, which is called rink.hockeyapp.net, but it's got a big long link after it as well. So I'm gonna leave that in the video description to give you a direct link to this application. Now, if you're thinking you don't really wanna download an application from outside of the App Store, I can verify that this is from the official developers, Omelet Arcade, but because of the way the live streaming works on this particular application, it's not been allowed onto the App Store. So you can download it and use it, hopefully so safely, but you do have all the usual issues of it being a signed certificate application, which means that it can get revoked. In order to get the application working once it's installed onto your device, you will first have an error where when you first load it, it will say untrusted enterprise error, like that. In order to fix that issue, go to settings, then general, scroll down to profile and device management. You will then need to find the certificate it's signed to. Uh, currently, it's Moby Social, that could change in the future. Press the blue trust button, then the red trust words, and that should allow you into the application just like that. Once logged into the application, the first thing you need to do is create an account. Now you can go through a longer process of setting up a password and connecting it to an email, but to do live streaming, it's relatively simple. And once you've got past these couple of screens, you can get to the live streaming area, which is go live now. And there are several options here, including Twitch and Facebook live streaming, but we're gonna do YouTube in this example. You don't have to necessarily choose a game. You can leave that blank since you are broadcasting to YouTube. Orientation, you need to set that before the recording, so make sure it's in the right orientation. Quality goes up to 720p, so put it as high as you think your connection can handle. In this test, I'm gonna put it up to 720p and we'll see what the final result is like. Microphone recording is offered here, so you can turn that on and give permission to your microphone as you do that. And live message notification, we'll have a look at that in a little while. It does warn you though that it may affect your performance with messages showing. So if you press next, what you're gonna have to do now is actually sign into your YouTube account in order to give Omelet Arcade permission to access your YouTube account to do the live streaming. Once you have given permission, you should have this go live button on screen. Tap it and that will bring up another pop-up which allows you to put in a video title as well as a description. Once you've got your title and description sorted, simply press the start streaming button on your iOS device. There should be a blue bar that appears at the top of the screen and it'll jump to a new screen on your iOS device. And then if you are connected to YouTube on the live streaming page on a desktop computer, if you refresh a browser, you should start to see your stream appearing on screen. And so on my desktop computer now, you can now see the live stream as it would be appearing to any viewers who are watching it. And the delay here is around about 20 to 30 seconds between what I'm actually doing on screen and what people will see on YouTube. The stream performance can be very sketchy as well. When I was testing here, the first test I did off camera worked perfectly. And then the second test, there was a lot of loading, as you can see now on the left hand side of the screen. And it took a very long time to get it to a decent resolution of either 480 or 720p. I couldn't quite tell from the screen output on my desktop computer. I've jumped two minutes into the live stream now and you can see the lag. I'm down to a minute on my Clash Royale game on actually playing it and on the live stream I still have a minute 50 so we're around about a minute behind in terms of lag but the quality has improved on the live stream and it's the best you're going to get from this test. 
So from a technical perspective, if you want to live stream for free directly from an iPhone or an iPad to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, it can be done through Omelette Arcade Pro. I'm going to say technically because it leaves a lot to be desired, so let's go through those problems now. First of all, can you hear anything from a live stream? The answer is no, because the volume output on the live stream is very, very low, at least on my iPad Mini 4 as I was testing it, and I could barely hear my voice, and I had to put the volume full level on my iPad, which meant that it completely drowned out anything from a live stream, so that was a huge problem. Absolutely no sound almost from the live stream. Now the next problem revolves around the very definition of what live streaming is. When you live stream to an audience, it's supposed to be interactive. You're broadcasting with the idea that you can react to commenters, respond to questions, and make it an interactive experience. And so far on iOS, no form of live streaming has been able to do this when you're recording your screen. Let's have a look at the evidence. Now, if we look at the live stream on my desktop computer, you can see that there's messages coming through now in the chat. And if I go to the Omelette Arcade application on my iOS device, we can see those messages as well. So that's fantastic. We do have some form of interaction here. I can see the messages as long as I stay on Omelette Arcade. Once I go out of the application, I don't see any of the messages. So it makes it impossible for me to react to what these comments are unless I have a setup like this, which of course is very awkward and can be quite expensive if you need a computer and an iPad. And if you're going to stream it from your iPad to a computer anyway, you might as well do it through OBS, which I've shown you in tutorials in the past. Another problem is bandwidth. You can see a lot of poor quality warnings here and it's not really live streaming much of my screen. It is right now, but you're probably gonna see another loading circle and it stopped performing again very soon. And I've still yet to see any service provide very good live streaming with the exception of VD, which does provide a good live streaming performance, but that is a paid service and it has audio issues whereby it does microphone audio recordings, which you can't hear while you're playing the game and you can only hear it through the live stream and it doesn't have any messaging service. So the live broadcasting aspect is lost again because it's not interactive. I kind of realized at this point that I was rambling on. So let's summarize what I think of live streaming on iOS devices. Yes, it can technically be done, but it loses an element of live streaming that's so important. And that's being able to interact with your audience on the fly, to read messages as you're playing the game, sharing the screen, and to respond to questions and react to the comments. Omelette Arcade does that in the aspect of you can go to the application and read messages, but it really breaks the flow. And the bandwidth for me personally was so poor that it was just unusable. Oh, and if you're wondering what happens when you try and do any of this live streaming through Omelette Arcade on an iOS 11 device, it just crashes the application. <laughs> so in two or three weeks time, it's gonna be obsolete anyway, unless Omelette Arcade decide to upgrade their broadcasting system to iOS 11. And I'm still really waiting for a developer to have a breakthrough with live streaming where they can have some sort of overlay on the screen while they're sharing it to see messages and be able to respond to it. That's the key for me. And until somebody is able to perfect that with very good bandwidth performance, it's gonna be the same old story for me. Live streaming from a direct iOS source just isn't fit for purpose. If you've got a different opinion, then let me know in the comments below or any different experiences of your live streaming with Omelette Arcade or any other live streaming application. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Why? Because I felt like it.